friends i hope you're having an amazing day today i'm coming at you with an episode of zoe's diary which is my vlog style videos if you guys are new to the channel my name is zoe and welcome today i'm going to get started with our sponsor which is premium jane i have partnered with premium jane before in the past and this is a cbd company who provides cbd products such as oils like i have here this is a premium cbd oil in citrus flavor and also cbd topicals which i have the eucalyptus one here and i absolutely love it as well as gummies and capsules and the wonderful thing that i love about premium jane is they're so aligned with their name as in premium jane okay these products are premium made in scottsdale arizona they're legal in all 50 states and all of the CBD products are sourced from a controlled, regulated industrial hemp supply that is consistently tested for the presence of microbes, pesticides, solvents, heavy metals, and chemical fertilizers. So being someone who is plant-based and vegan and who really cares about the things that I do put into my body, I really value that Premium Jane stands beside how pure their product really is. I personally use CBD oil on a somewhat regular basis just to relax myself if I feel like I'm getting a little bit tense. So for example, I'm somebody who works from the computer most days, so oftentimes I do feel like I get super tense and literally hold the weight of the world on my shoulders so I might take a few drops of this CBD oil by premium Jane you just put it underneath your tongue I can show you guys right now actually <laughs> try it out and leave it under there for a few seconds <laughs> yeah so use about half the dropper the wonderful thing about premium Jane like I said this is citrus flavor they have a few different flavors they're all just very natural tasting, nothing tastes fake, nothing tastes too potent. It just dissolves really nicely and like I said, I use it to relax in my body. And for the topical cream, I kinda just put this everywhere sometimes, most of the time actually. I use it as like a face mask, but a face mask that I sleep with. So this is what it looks like and it is more of like an ointment. You guys can see that I do use this quite a bit. And what I do is after I'm done washing my face before I'm gonna go to bed, especially during the winter time, it snowed today guys, which is why I'm wearing a tube because I was just outside. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I put it on my face and just kind of go to sleep like as if it were a face mask. So Premium Jane's kind enough to offer you guys a discount. So I'll be leaving that for you guys and check out the link down below for more. So for today's video, I wanted to make a Zoe's Diary video because we haven't had a chat time since November, which feels like a long time ago because I was away from Toronto for basically the entire month of December and uh, now I'm back and to be honest with you guys, I've kind of been in a funk but uh, I'm definitely on the upswing, I'm getting out of it. So because I'm in a funk, I didn't really feel like filming any videos this week or I just haven't had that motivation because I always have a difficult time like being in front of the camera when I feel like I'm not feeling my greatest self but I think that it's actually a great learning opportunity to share with you guys how I'm pulling myself out of this rut. So when it comes to a rut or a funk or whatever you wanna call it, like there's numerous reasons or points in time as to how I got myself to this place, like where I've been now for a little while here. And when you are in a funk, it's so easy to kind of dwell in the past, right? Like I could sit here and I could explain to you guys X, Y, Z as to what led me to like not feel so good right now. But basically the simplicity of it is when we choose, whether that's subconsciously or consciously, to live in a space of fear rather than a space of love. So the path to a funk and the path out of a funk is quite simple in this sense, is the path to a funk is to detach yourself from that space of love and move into a space of fear. So choose fearful thoughts over loving thoughts is an example. And uh, the way out of a funk then is to choose much better feeling thoughts that will eventually lead you back to your space of love, your natural place of joy and abundance, which is like my favorite place to live, but yeah, can't always feel that way, unfortunately. So yeah, I actually started listening to Gabrielle Bernstein's Super Attractor book this morning and I've been listening to it all morning. I actually took a sick day for myself. That's a nice thing about working for yourself is that when you're not feeling well, depending on what your schedule looks like, you can just call it a day. I wasn't expecting to feel as sick as I did this morning. When I did wake up, I have a bit of a cold going on. And I actually, this morning, had a weird rash on my face. 
and I'm like, okay, this is the universe's sign of telling me to just call it a sick day and answer to myself. So <laughs> that's what I did. I decided to just make myself some tea, go get some nice incense, which is why I was just outside. I went to this incense store that I really like in Greek town and got myself some new incense because it really just makes me happy and makes me feel like relaxed and content. And yeah, and now I'm gonna make lunch for myself, so I thought we could make lunch together. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, let's go make some lunch and we'll talk more. Okay, yeah, I obviously need to go grocery shopping. I feel like my fridge never looks this bare, but um, I, like I said, I've had a cold, so I just haven't really had the time to go out. But I have some pasta here, and of course, I love my greens, I love my kale, so I'm gonna make a little kale salad. I actually don't use the microwave. You guys might remember that from some of the Zoe's Diaries in November. So yeah, this is the pasta. I made it last night, arrabbiata. And I'm just gonna heat this up in a frying pan because that's much better than the microwave. I'm kind of scared of it, to be honest, you guys. Kind of scared of it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dump this in. And let's talk more about choosing better feeling thoughts. Okay, so... <sighs> Okay, so when you are in a space of being in a rut, right, like it's so easy to feel like the victim. It's so easy to feel that low vibe energy. Basically, it's lack versus abundance. Like whatever's going on in your life just kind of seems all the more worse and it seems to be drawing your focus. But um, the more and more that you can actually choose a counteracting like a better thought or even if you pick a personal mantra. So, um, for example, my personal mantra that I decided to adopt today and to repeat my, to myself continuously today is magic is on its way based on um my personal rut like whatever i've been going through i just have kind of felt a little bit abandoned by f source i guess you could say i guess that's the way to call it like i just kind of feel alone like i'm not making i don't know my path i don't know what's next i don't know what the future holds whereas i'm normally someone who's quite excited and ambitious about the future i think you guys know this about me but um in this particular rut i've developed some type of fear for the future fear of the unknown when really the old me or like the regular me i guess you could say always says like you know when nothing is certain everything's possible or you know what's going to happen is going to be something more wonderful beyond your wildest dreams but I think with this whole New Year stuff, I'm really excited about 2020 and I felt really excited about it, but um, I really have no idea what the future holds and I, it's kind of like when I'm, this rut, the theme of it has kind of been like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> we all feel this way sometimes, guys. I just thought I would just, you know, make it all the more norm. I go through this too. I, I feel like I've been in this place for a little while now, so yeah. But like I said, I'm on the upswing. I'm on the upswing because I've really just decided that I have the opportunity, I have the power, and thank goodness I have the power in my life to choose better feeling thoughts. So anytime a thought of lack or like lack of magic, lack of um, choice in my future or lack of like, a lack versus abundance really, I'm going to choose a better feeling thought or my mantra as magic. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys my pasta. It is heating up. It is um, spicy chili flakes, tomato sauce, um, olive oil. Um, I actually had to use onion powder, unfortunately, because I didn't have any onions. And like I said, you guys saw I need to go grocery shopping. But I'm gonna let this heat up and I'm gonna make myself a little kale salad with apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and Nooch, nutritional yeast, because that's like my favorite little combo. So, little massage kale salad and that. Okay, I thought about taking my toque off, but I got like, I don't know, maybe you guys can see it, but I have these like lines going on and like my hair is like smushed down. Ooh, and it's actually cold. Like even though I have my heat on, I'm still warming up, so I'm gonna keep my toque on. I have a cold, so you know, it's probably best anyways. But uh, yeah, massage kale salad. Got the bowl, got the kale gonna put it on in this is already washed sometimes I like to just take my bundles of kale and separate them like peel them all clean them all and separate them into these little glass containers so they're kind of meal ready I don't really meal prep anymore because I don't so it's 
Sometimes I go work at WeWork, but I normally pack my lunch in the morning, but I don't really meal prep for my week. I like to make things fresh and add my love into it as I'm cooking it, you know, add my intentions into it. This is another way to pull yourself out of a rut is to take these little acts of self-love, like cooking yourself meals. I think that's a big one. Like yesterday, I just went all out creating this Italian pasta feast for myself, me, myself, and I, and it felt pretty good. <laughs> Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane oh, as the light. Okay guys, lunch is served, but I'm gonna show it to you. So, we have arabiata and my massage kale salad, which um, I, I might have forgot to tell you guys, I had salt, pepper, nutritional yeast, um, and also apple cider vinegar and a little bit of olive oil and some agua. Stay hydrated when you have a cold. Uh. I've been battling this. I think that's part of the reason why I'm in a bit of a rut. My belief is around ruts and when you're also sick. It's like when your body is feeling weak, not as energetic, not as powerful as it normally is when you're your most vibrant, abundant self. It's easier for the ego to latch on to like whatever it can to pull you down into its fear cycle. Mm. So that's what's happening now. I have been still working out though. That's important to me even when I am not feeling the best. I go to F45, so I've been consistent with that every morning and it actually makes me feel so good about myself because even if like for example today I came home from F45 and had a little nap, if you could even call that, from like seven to eight a.m., um, it just actually helped me just to know that I got up and I had already done something with my body. I'd already moved it around. I'd already gotten out into the fresh, crisp, cold Toronto air. So that's important to me, and that really helps me to get out of a rut. As much as let's say you might not want to get out of bed, you might not want to go to the gym. The more and more that you can get past yourself physically like that, get past your own mind of like trying to block you of what's what's good for you you feel like unstoppable and that just leads you to choose the path of love, like honoring your body, honoring yourself, honoring what's important to you and keep going. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat my delicious food because I'm stopping. And after lunch, I have uh, something really cool to show you guys. Startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. And now, there's something in the Sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within oh, Dreamy breezy we go Okay guys, took off the toque, put the hair in a pony um, I feel like I was kind of looking like a snowman and this goes back to the theme of this video Which is getting yourself out of a rut and one thing that really helps me which I'm about to do now Is putting on makeup. I know that sounds like materialistic or you know Whatever, but when I feel like I take care of what I look like I actually feel better so I have a little bit of um mascara on today and that's it uh, so i'm just gonna put on a little bit more of my face makeup i do have to go out in mm, about an hour and a half i'm going to study some coaching material with one of my amazing friends so yeah uh let's put on some makeup maybe i'll show you guys some of my favorite products and then we'll get into the exciting thing that i have to show you that i told you about easy easy on our tiptoe You guys probably remember this thumbs up if you do but uh, yeah one of my very favorite products actually of 2019 which is still carrying on through to 2020 is this juice beauty CC cream so it's vegan of course and it is made with fruit stem cells which is super cool and I really like it because it also has SPF in it it also has just different good things for your skin in it and you really truly feel that when you put it on I also like how I can just put it on with this tube. Look at me. <laughs> Look at my little 
creamy mustache. Okay. Um, yeah. So I literally put it on like this in different designs every day. How do you like today's? And I just kind of like rub it in. And it's really nice because it feels like a really light lotion. So it feels nice to rub into your skin just like that. And oh, the color went off a little bit. Um, yeah. It blends super nice and decreases the redness of my skin. And my skin naturally is really shiny which any of you out there who have shiny skin, it means that we're gonna be the last ones to get wrinkles. So yeah, you can just bask in that. <laughs> and okay, so another product that I'm really loving, this is a more recent one, I actually got it in January, but my friend has had it for a long time. This is the Bare Minerals in Golden Ivory, I guess it's called Bare Pro. And it comes in a compact like this. It's got a little sponge, it's basically just like a little powder. I just usually use it to like adjust my forehead and my nose, the shiniest parts of my body. And yeah. I also recently got a concealer that I'm really liking too, which I'm gonna, I actually should have busted it out before that. But I'm only gonna use it on my under eyes, so it's good. My under eyes are very noticeable today. You guys probably already noticed them looking a bit purple. It's cause I literally, <laughs> Literally cried myself to sleep last night. <laughs> That's how much I was in my ego about the fact that I don't have my life figured out. Is I was writing in my journal and like just having a vent to the universe. Sometimes I do that. It's not always gratitude practice in my journal. Sometimes it's like, universe, I just don't get it. And please show me the light. <laughs> and I feel like today, oh, got a couple of blemishes on the side here. So not just on my eyes. But starting today, I feel like I have been Choosing the more positive thoughts. Gabby's book definitely helped, which super attractor again. And if you guys are looking for just some uplifting content, I feel like that was exactly what I needed to listen to today. Just to remind me that even though I feel like I don't, I might not know what I'm doing with my life, I've got spirit guides on the other side are helping me out. <laughs> just makes me feel better, you know, to know that I'm like divinely supported. So this was actually the concealer contour um it's called born this way and it's by Too faced i recently got this and i'm very happy with it it stays on i like to feel and look vibrant like i said part of pulling yourself out of a rut is making sure that as as comfortable as it would be to wear sweatpants and pajamas all day it feels so much better when you shower when you get changed when you wear clothes that you feel good in and when you might just put a little bit of makeup on not too much today, just wanted to do a little bit. Like I said, I am going out to meet a friend, so I like to look somewhat decent. This is um, Sage, it's definitely scratched off because I use this whole time. This is called Virgin Lips and it's just a um, moisturizer that I keep in this makeup bag to use on the daily to make sure that I'm all moisturized up. And I think there's one more product that I wanted to use, oh yeah. I'm gonna do my brows. So I normally get my brows done at Sephora. You guys might remember actually in Italy, the guy uh, Stefano who used to do my brows, he used to just like love to do them so dark and like they always just were like so extravagant. Um, I do get them dyed, but uh, I keep it to a light brown over here in Canada. <laughs> but I really do like the Give Me Brow. This is from Benefit. This is probably one of my favorite products too because I use it every day and I just kind of brush the brows up like this. I need to look in the mirror, sorry guys, but I'll go closer. I need to, I like to brush the brows up like this and then kind of brush them down. But when I do get my brows done at Sephora, what's really nice, if you guys have ever had that done at their brow bar, is that they actually like trim your brows for you. So I don't have a lot of brows, but I have grown them since since those days when the thin brows were in. Okay? Hashtag 90s babies, okay? Let me know if you had skinny brows too. I feel like it's literally taken a decade to like grow them all back. Uh, but I'm happy with my brows now. They're never quite even, but we do what we can, right? We do what we can. All right, and I guess that's it. I guess this is my this is my face for the day, and 
let me show you what I wanted to show you, something really exciting. So I'm gonna put this away and take you guys into my bedroom. We'll film in another room, another room today. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so you guys, what was super exciting about this month of January is that my book Manifest Miracles was actually featured in one of the Goddess Provision boxes. So I've definitely shown you guys these boxes before. This is super cool. I'm going to show you guys some of the products that were inside here, and we'll do like a little unboxing together. So. Each of these boxes comes with one of these cards that has beautiful artwork on it and the theme is also listed inside of each month. So each month has a different theme and this theme was sacred self-care for January. How fitting for this video about pulling myself out of a rut. <laughs> it's happening and this box is definitely gonna add just some more joy to the day. Okay, so in here it also lists all the products and where to find them on social media which is really cool right, right there at the bottom is manifest miracles it's, it's a digital download for anyone who is subscribed to the box so super exciting and let me get into showing you guys what was inside so there is a rose quartz geisha gua sha gua sha <laughs> and it has this pretty box just like this Ooh, facial massage tool Okay, so let me see here. I'm opening it up and it's inside there. So it says the Gua Sha or Gua Sha. Somebody can help me with my pronunciation. That would be great. So the Gua Sha is made from rose quartz, which has a gentle pink essence and known as the stone of unconditional love. That is perfect. Warm your Gua Sha stone slightly by rubbing in between your hands and once warm, gently massage along your face and neck. So just like this this and it's cute because it's in the little shape of a heart and you guys know me i love my crystals so this is great there's actually also a crystal in every one of the goddess provision boxes and this month we have pink opal known as the heart chakra stone this gem fosters a sense of emotional balance and a calm centered focus hold it as you recite your monthly mantra to awaken inner peace and love sounds right up my alley of exactly what i'm needing right now <laughs> This is it. It's really pretty. It kind of looks like a clouded rose quartz. And the monthly mantra is also listed inside here too. It says, when I nourish my mind, body, and spirit with self-care, I embody my true nature as a loving, radiant, and compassionate being. Okay, see, we're so much beyond our noisy egos, especially in days when we're just like really feeling it like I have been. So... Yeah, happy to have a crystal, set these intentions into motion of feeling better, feeling vibrant, feeling like the powerful being that I am. It's also this Sahara Rose. This is a luxurious blend of precious skin soothing oils and plant extracts. Vegan cruelty free, so that's a serum that's like an oil that you can use on your face and your hair and uh, smells like roses. So I'm not gonna lie, I dove into that this morning already, but I wanted to show you guys the box anyways. And we've got some tea here. This is Blue Lotus Chai. I always love when I get some teas in here because then I can try them out and see if it's the tea that I like and if I wanna buy it after, so that's good. It's a masala chai and it won the 2019 Sophie Silver Award. 17 cups, guess I got a lot of tea to drink. We've got this beautiful travel case for makeup or makeup actually. This is gonna be perfect because I was looking for a small makeup bag that I can put into my work backpack when I go to WeWork. So this is beautiful. It looks like oceany crystal on the outside. Self-care journal, you guys know me. I love my journals. That is also something else that can pull you out of a rut very fast. Even when I don't feel like it, like I'm telling you guys this little Whatever's been looming around for some time, this thought that I'm working through of not knowing what I'm doing with my life, I've still gotten up at like 5 a.m., 15 minutes earlier than I would need to wake up to go to my fitness class so that I can write in my journal, first thing. Not to go on social media, first thing is to write in my journal, so I'm big on that. And oh, this looks like such a positive book. I promise you to say things that were 
fun or relaxing today, things that were hard or stressful today, th kind things I did for myself today. That's always something super good to reflect on. And it has like options like check off how you physically feel today. Ooh, this is, this is good. Yeah, I love my journals, I love all my books, things like that. So yeah, the link for Goddess Provisions will be down below if you guys wanna check out more. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll go. I uh, have, like I said, this coaching afternoon and I'll give another big thank you to today's sponsor, which is Premium Jane. If you guys are looking for premium quality CBD products, you know where to find them and you have this special discount with my code. So be sure to take advantage of that and just remember to take care of yourself, to feed yourself with quality foods, drink a lot of water and just love yourself first because that's that's what we all need to do a little bit more of each and every day. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.